Hello friends, welcome to Technical Studies. In this video, I will explain the complete cross-country pipeline laying process, from route survey up to hydro testing and commissioning. I will also mention a general equipment list used in each stage, including automatic internal lineup clamps, without going into too much detail. Let's begin. Route survey and alignment. The first step is route survey and alignment. Survey teams use GPS and total stations to mark the pipeline centerline, identify crossings, and record ground levels. Based on this data, alignment sheets are prepared, and the final pipeline route is fixed. Right-of-way clearing and grading Next comes right-of-way clearing and grading. Vegetation, bushes, and small obstacles are removed, and the ground is leveled to allow safe movement of trucks and equipment. A proper working corridor is created for trenching, stringing, and welding activities. Trenching After row preparation, trenching is carried out along the pipeline route. Excavators dig the trench to the required depth and width as per design and code. The trench bottom is trimmed and cleaned so that there are no sharp objects that can damage the coating. Pipe transport and stringing now pipe transport and stringing start. Pipe joints are brought from the storage yard to the right of way and placed parallel to the trench on sleepers or stands. Coating on the pipes is checked visually. And any damage is marked for later repair. Pipe bending. To follow the terrain and design profile, field bends are made using a bending machine. Both vertical and horizontal bends are formed as per drawing so that stresses remain within limits. Bent pipes are placed back on supports, ready for fit-up and welding. Pipe end preparation and lineup. Before welding, pipe ends are prepared and aligned. Bevels are checked and cleaned, and any rust or dirt is removed. For mainline welding, automatic internal lineup clamps are used inside the pipe to align both ends accurately, while external clamps are used at tie-ins and special locations. Mainline welding. The next stage is mainline welding. Welding is done as per approved procedures and codes like API 1104, usually with root, hot, fill, and cap passes. Depending on the project, welding may be manual, semi-automatic, or automatic, and each weld joint is given a unique identification number. Non-destructive testing, NDT. After welding, non-destructive testing is carried out to check weld quality. Methods such as radiography, ultrasonic testing, magnetic particle testing, dye penetrant testing, and visual inspection are used as per project requirements. Any defective weld is repaired and then retested until it meets the acceptance criteria. Field joint coating and holiday testing. The weld area at each joint is then field coated. Heat shrink sleeves, liquid epoxy, or tape systems are applied as per the coating procedure. After curing, holiday testing is done using a high-voltage detector to find pinholes or defects, and any damage is repaired immediately. Lowering in padding Once welding, NDT, and coating are complete, the pipeline is ready for lowering in. Side boom pipe layers lift the pipeline string and gently lower it into the trench in a controlled way. Padding material such as fine soil or sand is used around the pipe to protect the coating. Backfilling restoration. After lowering, the trench is backfilled. Selected soil is placed and compacted in layers, and warning tape may be installed in developed areas. Finally, the right of way is restored as close as possible to its original condition. Hydro testing. The completed section of pipeline is then hydro tested. The line is filled with water, pressurized above design pressure and held for a specified period. Any leak or pressure drop is investigated, repaired, and the test is repeated if necessary. Dewatering, drying, and pigging. After a successful hydro test, the water is removed by dewatering and pigging. Pigs are run through the pipeline using air or nitrogen to push out water, clean the line, and dry it to the required level. This prepares the pipeline for safe introduction of the product. Commissioning 
Finally, the pipeline goes into commissioning. It is connected to the upstream and downstream facilities, and valves, instruments, and safety systems are checked. Product is gradually introduced under controlled conditions, and once performance is satisfactory, the line is handed over for normal operation. General Equipment List For survey and right-of-way work, typical equipment includes survey instruments, excavators, bulldozers, graders, backhoe loaders, and dump trucks. For pipe handling and stringing, projects use pipe trailers, side boom pipe layers, mobile cranes, pipe rollers, pipe stands, and lifting tackles. For bending and fit-up, the main equipment includes a pipe bending machine, automatic internal line-up clamps, external clamps, air compressors, and pipe end preparation tools. For welding and power, we use welding machines or generators, welding power packs, electrode ovens, cables, and basic welding shelters where needed. For coating and inspection, the spread includes field joint coating equipment, holiday detectors, and NDT equipment such as RT, UT, MPT, department, and visual inspection tools. For lowering and backfill, we again use side booms, excavators, padding machines, compactors, and rollers. For testing and commissioning, the main equipment is hydro test pumps, temporary tanks and manifolds, pig launchers and receivers, and compressors or nitrogen units for pigging and drying. For support and safety, we depend on diesel generator sets, lighting towers, fuel bowsers, service vehicles, site office and QC cabins, and complete safety and PPE arrangements. In this video, we have quickly gone through the complete pipeline laying process, from survey and trenching to welding, testing, coating, lowering, backfilling, hydro testing, pigging, and commissioning, and we also reviewed a general equipment list used with automatic internal lineup clamps. If you found this explanation helpful, please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Technical Studies for more practical piping and pipeline content. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.